Hello guys, uh, welcome once more to my channel. Today I will uh, will speak to you about this uh, QR code reader. Okay, previously I did this application for uh, to generate uh, custom QR codes. So uh, now I have come out with the application to read these uh, codes which has previously been generated by our uh, application to generate the QR code. So uh, now I will go through uh, very fast about some information, basic information about QR code. Okay, so here you have some uh, typical QR code images. As you can see, plenty of these uh, in the web, right? So uh, let's see define the different regions within the QR code. So basically, mainly we will have two different regions, which are the alignment region, which is this uh, three squareish uh, structures uh, in the corners of our QR code, and our data region, where, is the, where all our information is, right? So previously, uh, as I say, I come up with this application to generate our, our QR code. So here, basically, we have the steps, okay, very generic on how to generate our QR code. First, we need to decide what information we need to store in our uh, QR code, okay. Then, uh, secondly, we need to codify all this information into a binary code, as uh, we mentioned previously in my previous video. Uh, all the information stored in the within the QR code is uh, binary information, okay, zero or one. So uh, when we codify all the information, we need to add also some uh, security bits or redundancy to make our code more robust, right? After that, we need to calculate the number of bits that we require, okay? So the more bits we require, the more squares we will see in our image in the QR code image, okay? Once we have all this, we can build the matrix in our QR code, okay? We basically build the alignment region and uh, add in all the data. So from here, let's see again this uh, generator application. So this application basically, what it does is the generate this uh, simulate the web application of a cinema when we are purchasing some tickets to watch a movie okay so uh, when we purchase a ticket for to watch a movie uh, we need to uh, store some information okay like for example uh, uh, we need to know when you go to the cinema you show your QR code it must reflect uh, clearly what, what cinema is, is this, uh, which is the movie, okay, all this need to, uh, we need to have all this in consideration when uh, we are doing an application for people to purchase uh, some items or services, okay. Then we will have the date, okay, the, what time is the movie, right. Okay, how many tickets we want to purchase, in this case three, Okay, the seats, the seats arrangement, the payment method. Okay, uh, and then here we will select to for the application to send to our email the the QR code generated for this purchase. So that QR code, with that QR code, we will go to our cinema. We will present this QR code and. Um, in some machine or someone with a QR code reader will be able to to read the QR code and generate the tickets for you to to proceed to your to watch your movie right so let's see in my email if I can see my email I haven't received anything let's refresh sorry okay and here we have our QR code all right 
this is the second okay so here you can see how the application has sent the QR code to my email right so let's close this so next step as uh, we were saying is the once we have the QR code we need the reader application to read these QR codes that has been generated by the application to generate the QR codes which is the next slide so in the reading process first uh, we may need we will need uh, what is the sensor to to read to capture what is the image in this case will be a camera other kind of sensors to to read uh, QR codes or barcodes is the IR sensor but in this case I will be using the camera okay basically I will be using my webcam okay which is uh, in a very low resolution so we will use the camera just to capture the image so once we have the image we need to do some uh, post image processing which basically one of the most basic uh, operations we do in this kind of uh, processing because we just need to differentiate between black and white is the uh, binarization of the image okay which is basically to do a monochrome image okay so after that another process will be the alignment to, to align the, the QR code so that we can extract more accurately the information so as I said the last the last uh, uh, process will be the extraction of the data okay the alignment information we do nothing with it because it's only for alignment purposes then we extract the data we check the security bits whether the information is uh, corrupt or not okay then once uh, we have checked the security then we will decodify this information which basically is do the, the uh, inverse process of the generator application okay so let's see this other application okay I need to change this Folder. This is the reader side. Reader. Okay, so let's go back. And the reader is here. So this is the reader application. So let's start. Okay. So basically, what we have to do is just to put the our QR code in this uh, region, right? So that the, the our system can read the QR code. So for this, I need to take out the camera. Okay, so basically I will go to my phone to check my email. Okay, so from the email I can see the QR code. Let's see when I receive the QR code. Okay, alright. This is the QR code. So basically what I have to do here will be Yes, click on my phone. Okay, so your QR code message do not reply. Okay, we just download the QR code. Wait for the QR code to appear. Okay, so basically, what we have to do. Okay, so just place the oops, sorry, the image properly. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then on the software, just click on the scan QR code. All right. Oops, sorry.
okay and once we click scan for a scan then we will see uh, all the information as per the application just now when we generate what is the cinema where we are going the date of purchase which is today today is the 9 may okay the date of the movie showing what just now was at 10 may the session time the movie that we are watching uh, the room number number of tickets the seating arrangement and the payment method so with this uh, for example if as i say in a cinema application uh, we come with our qr code there we go through the maybe if there is a self service uh, kiosk machine then we can basically uh, we can basically go to this machine then from the machine uh, we can just present our QR code then the machine can read the QR code and maybe just generate the tickets to us okay once the machine confirms that all the information is correct all the security within the QR code all right um, and that is all for this for this uh, application guys I hope you like it it's at least quite easy to do this uh, customized QR code. Just to say, this is really a fully customized QR code system generator and reader. It's not. It's not the typical QR code that you see on the web. This application is not able to read these uh, QR codes that you can see from the web, and, and and other devices cannot read QR codes generated. But this application is a fully fully customized application okay so thank you very much for watching and i see you next bye bye